In this video, we're gonna learn about mean absolute deviation. So let's begin. So one way to uh, describe the variability or the spread of data is um, by using mean absolute deviation. So mean absolute deviation, ab, oops, absolute deviation is a measure of variability. So, um, mean absolute deviation is the average distance that the data points in a set of data are from the mean. So, uh, a mean absolute deviation, or MAD, close to zero, means that the data values are close to the mean. So, let's... Uh, to help us understand what mean absolute deviation is, it, it could help us, um, it would help if we knew what the word deviate means. So how can it help us remember the definition of mean absolute deviation? Well, deviate means, deviate means to go apart or go away from something or to uh, sometimes to uh, differ to do something differently um, so um, yeah or sometimes depart or leave so deviate is um, and how we can remember is mean absolute deviation is how far something is away from the mean on average so in order to find the mean absolute deviation of the set of data follow the steps described in the table Complete the table and apply the steps to find the mean absolute deviation in the situation below. So, step one is to find the mean of the data set. After you find the mean, you find the distance from each data point in the mean, and then you find the average or the mean of those distances. So, step one. Uh, it says, uh, let's look at this first example. A flight attendant recorded the number of minutes it took to board the airplane for the last seven flights. So for the first of the seven flights, it took 20 minutes for everyone to board. And her next flight, it took 19 minutes before everyone sat down, then 15 minutes, then 23, then 14, and then 17. And on the last flight, it took everyone 18 minutes to board and sit down. So um, let's try to find the mean absolute deviation. We need to start by finding the mean of the data which means we have to add them up and divide by the number of data points. So we need to add 20 plus 19 plus 15 plus 23 plus 14 plus 17 plus 18. And then divide that by the number of data points, which is 7. So if I added that up, I got 126. And 126 divided by 7 is 18. So the mean is 18. Now I need to list the distance between each data point and the mean in the table to the left. So um, how far is 20 away from 18? Well, it is two spaces away. What about 19 from 18? That is just one away. What about 15 minus 18? I'm not going to do 15 minus 18 uh, because I'd get a negative number, so I do 18 minus 15. Uh, so how far is 18 from 15? It's three away. What about 23? 23 is five away. What about 14? 14 is uh, 4 away. Notice I'm always doing bigger number minus smaller. So 18 minus 17, that's 1. And 18 minus 18 is 0. So the total deviation is, when I add these all up, 2, 1, 3, 5, 4, 1. I get 16. So that's the uh, total distance. Anyways, I found the mean. I found the distance from the mean. So 2, 1, 3, 5, 4, 1 zero and now i need to find the average of those distances so when i find the average of those distances i add them up i get 16 and then i need to do um i need to take 16 i need to divide it by two so rather than doing that i'm gonna write it this way like hey it's two plus one plus three plus five plus four plus one plus zero divided by seven because there are seven data points so you may be wondering where i'm getting those numbers it's these numbers right here 
I'm not adding the 16 because that is the total. So if I add all those up, I get, I get 16. And 16 needs to get divided by seven. And 16 divided by seven is 2.2 something. So actually I round up, uh, let's do, I get 2.285, um, five, seven, dot, 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 which they want us to round to the nearest tenth, which means we round up. So the answer is 2.3. So the mean absolute deviation is like 2.3. So let's answer question D. Explain what the mean absolute deviation represents in the situation. Uh, the average distance that each boarding time is from the mean is uh, of 18 is 2.3 minutes. So average distance from the mean. of 18 is 2.3. It's 2.3 minutes. So 18 minutes would be the average, but if you um, don't board within uh, 18 minutes, it's uh, there's a good chance that you're gonna eat either like maybe 2.3 minutes more or 2.3 minutes less. So maybe like 20.3 minutes more or like 15.7 minutes less. Um, so yeah, that's what mean absolute deviation tells us. Let's go ahead and try to practice some more mean absolute deviation. We're gonna round to the nearest tenth or one decimal place when necessary. Number two, the number of people in hospital waiting rooms across the city are shown in the list on the right. So um, people in hospital waiting, waiting rooms. In one hospital, it's uh, three, like I need to find the mean. So one hospital, it's three then five, then eight, then 10, then four, then six. Add all that up, divide by the number of data points, one, two, three, four, five, six, so divide by six. And um, let's see, I believe when I add it all up, I get 36 over six, which is just six. So that's the mean. So distance to number from the mean, is, uh, let's see, six minus three, that's three away. That's one away. Eight is um, two away. Um, 10 is four away. Four is uh, two away. And six is zero away. So if I add all this up to find the average, I do three plus one, that's uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's 12. So find the average. That's 12 divided by 6. Six data points. And that means the mean absolute deviation is 2. Explain what the mean absolute deviation means over here. So that means the average distance. Average distance. That each waiting room number. That uh, each uh, waiting room number of uh, people waiting in the waiting room. Number is away from six. So the mean may be six, but it's got a small, pretty small mean absolute deviation. So, um, Maybe two more, maybe two less. That's kind of like the average, average distance. All right, let's try number three. The numbers at the right represent the number of dogs at the dog park. Mariella saw each day last week. So she saw uh, 10 one week, then seven, then two, then 12, then four. First, again, find the mean. 10 plus seven plus two plus 12 plus four. Divide that by the number of data points. One, two, three, four, five. And then it looks like um, that equals 30 over 5, which equals, wait, does that equal 30? I don't think that equals 30. I messed that up. No, that equals um, uh, 35, actually. I add that up, 35 over 5, which is 7. So the mean is 7. 
Now that I find the mean is seven, find the distance away. So that's 10 is three away, seven is zero away, uh, two is five away, um, 12 is five away, and um, four is one away. So the total uh, distance from, the, or the total of the deviation is three, five, five, one. That is 14, um, five, five, yeah. Wait a minute, I'm doing something wrong here. Oh wait, that's what I did wrong. I did five minus four, seven minus four, which is three. My goodness, where is my brain? Seven minus four, that's three, so that should be a total deviation of 16. So, 16 divided by the number of uh, data points, which is five, that gives us uh, 3.2. So what does this mean? Um, the average distance the average distance uh, that each number of dogs each uh, number of dogs is away from the mean. is, is 3.2. So what does that mean? That means the variance with uh, the variance in the waiting times or number of people in the waiting rooms is two and the variance in the number of dogs at a dog park is 3.2. So which one has a greater variance? This one. So. If you were to say um, which number is probably more accurate, if you were to say like, hey, uh, the number of people in the waiting room is uh, in any waiting room in the city is probably gonna be six, that's more likely gonna be accurate than uh, if you said the number of people or the number of dogs at the dog park is gonna be seven. Because um, there's more variance in the numbers of dogs than there are for people in the hospital waiting rooms. Let's go ahead and answer the last question, which is four. It says, Coach Jackson found that the mean absolute deviation for the number of minutes it took his PE class to run a mile. Um, the mean absolute deviation was a very large number. Jaden assumes this means his class took a long time to run the mile. Do you agree with Jaden's conclusion? Explain why or why not. Uh, well, that's not true. Large mean absolute deviation does not mean that people took a long time. It tells us, so the MAD tells us about the spread, the spread or variance of data. What this means is that, um, not that the class took a long time, but the large mean absolute deviation is that there's probably a large difference between the different numbers from the actual mean. It means that the, uh, the class times were very spread out. Were very spread out. All right, and that's it. That's that on mean absolute deviation. Hopefully that made sense. Mean absolute deviation is kind of a confusing concept, but um, go ahead and try some problems on your own. Good luck.